Good morning, y'all. I have some coupon matchups for Dollar General for you. So if you are interested in how we can get some free Folgers coffee, some 25 cent Folgers coffee, a $1 bottle of Vaseline, and some other pretty cool savings, then just keep watching. All right, guys, the PNG spend and save offer is back. On this account, I got spend $30 on PNG products and save 10 on your next purchase of $10.01 or more. So please be aware that this is not 10 off your $30 purchase. This is going to be 10 off your next purchase of $10.01 or more. Got a $1.50 off one Snuggle product. This does exclude the 40 count dryer sheets and they are not attaching at this time. I love when they do though, because 50 cent dryer sheets is always great. But here's the next best thing. We can get some of these little scent beads for $3.75, and after that $1.50 digital, we will pay $2.25. Got $2 off any one Bic razor. Now this one is what I'm gonna say glitching because it's never really attached to these before it's attaching to the 10 count silky touch razors these are only 365 so we're gonna pay a dollar 65 for a 10 pack of the silky touch razors and if you enjoy getting coupon matchups from dollar general and you like penny shopping then you've come to the right place please consider liking this video and subscribing it would mean the world to me and I love having y'all here. So let's get back to the deals. Did share this a while back, but I wanted to reiterate that we can click this coupon and get it absolutely free. You're looking for the seven count single serve Folgers instant coffee. It's in a little box. It's usually down the coffee aisle with the full size coffee. If you can't find it there, check where your dollar aisle used to be or wherever they have what's left of your dollar food aisle if you still even have it. We can get these absolutely free with this $1.25 coupon. Now, there is a dollar digital also attaching, so if you want to grab two boxes, you'll just pay 25 cents for two if you clip both the dollar off digital and the $1.25. At $2 off any two Quaker Instant Oatmeal, we can grab the multi-pack boxes for $2.75 each. Buying two of those, it's going to be $5.50. After the $2 digital, we will pay $3.50. Got buy four, get one free on our Rice-A-Roni boxes or cups. So if we want to grab five of the boxed rice a it's going to end up being $6. Forget to clip your $2 off any two Lay's chips. These are on sale to four six right now. So after that $2 digital, you will pay $4 for two bags. We've got a dollar off any two hefty slider bags. These are on sale right now, two for six dollars, so we will pay five dollars for two. We've got 75 cents off one gain easy squeeze. These are three dollars, so after this digital, we will pay two twenty-five. A dollar off of Cottonelle toilet paper. We can grab a four pack of the toilet paper for just five dollars and after that one dollar digital we will pay four 75 cents off of windex drano or shout windex is 350 so after the 75 cent digital we're gonna pay 275 all right, y'all, how about some stacking savings? We've got a dollar off of any one Vaseline lotion. This is a DG store coupon, which means we can stack it with this $2 off any one manufacturer's coupon. We are going to get a total of $3 off one Vaseline product. We can get the Calm Healing Lotion for $4. We will pay just $1 
after our stacking savings of $3. We've got $4 off any one package of Huggies diapers. These are the boxes. Now, we can actually get cash back if we choose. Instead, if you don't want to clip that, you can clip the earn $5 offer. We can only do this one time, but it applies to the Huggies diapers that are $25. They're actually $25.50, but if we do this on a Saturday, we're going to save $5 right off the top, so that leaves it at $20.50. We're gonna pay that much and then we can earn $5 back, making it just $15.50 for a case of 78 diapers. So that is one little option for Saturday. Got a $2 off any CoverGirl eye product. Now we can get our little two packs of the eyeliner pencils for $4.95. So after that $2 digital, we will pay $2.95. Now CoverGirl is also on special this week. Buy one, get one half off. We've got a $1.50 off of Advil or Advil PM or Children's Advil. These little 24 count are $4.50. So after that $1.50 digital, we're gonna pay $3. We've got $3 off any two L'Oreal Paris L-Vive shampoo, conditioner, or treatments. These are $5 each, so buying two of them is going to be $10. After the $3 digital, we will pay $7. $1.50 off of one Arm & Hammer liquid laundry detergent. This is attaching to the $4 bottles of Arm & Hammer. I believe it's on the 25 load of bottles. So it will be just $2.50 after our $1.50 digital. Got a dollar off any two Suave products. Now this is only attaching to the items priced at higher than $2.50. So I figured we could grab two of the deodorants at $2.65. That is going to end up being... 430 after the dollar digital. This isn't a fantastic savings, but we have $2 off Chic Disposable Razors. This does attach to the women's skin to mint disposables. Those are $6, so after the $2 digital, we will pay four. All right, y'all, that is it for this video. We didn't get too many fantastic coupons, unfortunately, but there has been amazing penny shopping this week. And I just saw on Christie's Connections group that our surprise pennies, well, I guess they're surprised because they were supposed to penny on Tuesday. They have pennied today. So, if you aren't already subscribed to Christie's Connections, make sure you do that now. She also has a Facebook group that you can request to join. You just have to answer a couple questions, read the rules, and then they will accept. So make sure you do that because she has amazing mods that keep you up to date as things occur um, immediately on Facebook because she only gets three notifications a day on YouTube. So if you just watch Christie's YouTube, you aren't going to get all the information that is really available to you on her Facebook group. I also highly recommend her website. It's www.christiesconnections.com. You can take a look at all the penny items that are currently a penny, and you can plan your next trip. All right, guys. So I saw Christy's video, and she has asked us creators to talk to y'all about store etiquette and how we need to treat our stores and our staff so step one we don't make a mess in the stores um whatever you drop on the floor whatever you pull off the shelf put back in its place if you can and if you have time straighten the shelves as you go these things do not go unnoticed trust me they see the cameras, they see the penny shoppers that make a mess, and they know the stashers. It's only a matter of time before penny shopping is over, and we've only got ourselves and our fellow penny shoppers to blame. So, let's go over some penny etiquette and things that we need to know. 
Okay guys, so first off, just don't make a mess. Clean up after yourself, straighten as you go. Leave the store nicer than you found it. And by this, I mean if you're walking down an aisle and you see something on the ground, instead of just walking right on past it because you didn't drop it, you could stop and pick it up and put it on the shelf. That is one simple thing that I always do just because I don't want someone to trip and fall and it's not taking anything out of my day for me to stop for one second and pick something up. So that doesn't go unnoticed again. Also, we're gonna be kind and respectful to staff, even the ones who are not nice to you. This is important because corporate can review the cameras and they do whenever you have a bad experience and you call customer service, okay? It's important to be calm, be very matter of fact, even if they're telling you, I have the right to refuse a sale, just say, okay. And if they refuse it, just leave, go to the parking lot. I would probably leave the parking lot because you don't want them calling police or anything because it can escalate to that even when you are calm. So I would say leave, go to a safe place to park where you can call, just park in a parking lot, don't drive and call, and explain your situation. And be like, you know, they refuse to sell me these penny items. It is a store. They're going to ask you the zip code of the store. Then they're going to ask you the address of the store. And you're going to explain your situation, okay? Most of the time, in, in my personal experience, the district manager or regional manager will call you back within 24 hours. Most of the time, they will tell you, go back and get your penny items. A lot of times, I'm just like, no, it's all right. Don't worry about it. You know, just educate the staff on us being able to purchase these items because the managers, the corporate level wants these items out of the store. They want it gone. They're trying to make room. But when some of the staff are uneducated on that policy, they might refuse a sale. So your best bet is to just say, okay, to the staff, give them the items, maybe take a picture of your cart and what you had, leave, go find a safe place to park, call corporate. All right. And another thing, don't ask employees about penny items, please. When you walk into the store and say, where's your penny section? Like, it, it doesn't work like that, guys. How we find these pennies is after items go through their clearance cycles, things get put in random spots in the store. And those items get forgotten unless they are all moved to the front on one of those roll carts and they leave it for display. So that's how we find these items. It's, it's not like they're all down one aisle. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna have to look for yourself, do your homework. This is where Christie's website comes in handy. You can look at the visuals there. That will help you so much and you do not need to talk to them about it, okay? Like if they ask you if you're penny shopping, you can just say, oh no, you know, I'm just couponing and looking for some deals. That's what I always say because I coupon there constantly too. So lots of times I'm couponing and penny shopping. All right, y'all, I hope this helps you. I hope this helps you succeed because in acting this way, you will have staff that likes you. Oh, wait, I forgot to mention, share. You can share with the staff, okay? At checkout, I'm always like, hey, if you see anything that you would like here for yourself or your family, please put it to the side and take it for yourself. I will leave you my receipt. And eight times out of 10, they will be thankful and kind and they will say, oh my gosh, thank you. You know, I would love to have this. And you build a rapport with the staff. That is everything because those staff will bring you penny items in the future that they're like, hey, this just penny, do you want this? And you can be like, yeah, you want one too? And then check out, buy it for them. It is that simple. Kindness goes a long way and that is my biggest, you know, success tip right there. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening. I know this was long. I didn't mean to preach to you. I'm not trying to be your mom. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I just wanted to share my tips for success. And I wanted to, you know, respect Christy's wishes and share with my people and her people, because we all share the same viewers, um, just how we need to present ourselves in the store. Because, you know, we are presenting ourselves as Christy subscribers too. We are representing her and I think we should probably act, you know, nice to each other too. So being kind is a really easy thing to do. 
All right, y'all. I will catch y'all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.